Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making another pony custom. I have Princess Celestia here and we're going to transform her into her mother, Queen Galaxia. I'm actually not sure if Queen Galaxia is really Celestia's mother or if she is a fan fiction character. But I googled her and I found a few images and she looks amazing. Queen Galaxia is a beautiful cream colored alicorn with purple and orange mane and tail. So whether or not she is truly Celestia's and Luna's mother, let's go ahead and make her custom. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off the mane and tail. So here goes the mane, we're going to snip it off and then trim it down as close as possible to the scalp. And here goes the tail. Next, we're going to spread her wings out a bit more. The wings on the pony is currently very narrow. So we're going to soften the plastic with a heat gun, spread the wings wider, and let it cool down. For this pony, I'm going to recreate her mane and tail using epoxy resin. I've done a few of these customs before and they look really amazing with resin for the mane and tail. If you have not checked out these videos, make sure to do so after this one. I think Queen Galaxia will look really good in resin because of the orange and purple gradient in her mane and tail. This time, we're going to make the mane and tail in separate pieces. Previously, I made a single mold for the mane and tail. And even though it turned out really pretty, I think we can make some improvements. So I've gone ahead and created the tail in four separate pieces in clay. We will cast them each separately in resin and put them back together again afterwards. Once it's done, we'll attach it to the back of the pony and it will look something like this. When taken apart, the pieces can be laid down flat. So the flat part is the top of the mold and the rounder side is on the bottom. In addition, we're going to pull it out of the mold when it's half cured. If we time it just right, the resin will be hard enough to handle, but also soft enough to shape and put it together. For the mane, here are the different pieces that I created. So I created three long strands here on the right side, and then one long strand on the left side. So then the left side would go kind of like this, and then here's the front bangs. Not sure if this would actually fit very well, but I'm going to give it a try. So it's a little bit tricky because um, we don't want to press it too hard right now since we're not putting it onto the pony. And let's go ahead and make our mold. I'm going to be using Composing Mold. This is a reusable mold that you can melt and remelt again and again to cast objects. I've used this many times already, so it's really handy to have when you're just looking to make an object once. I've laid down all the clay pieces on a little tray, and after melting the composing mold, we're going to pour it over the clay. Since this is a little thick, it will take a few hours to harden. Alright, so our mold has set. Here's the bottom, so now we need to take it out. So just to remember, these are for the tail. And what's nice is that this clay is still soft, so we can reuse it. There we go, it's looking really good. So now we can mix our resin and pour it in. Here we're mixing the resin and then coloring it with dark orange and purple. We'll also add a bit of glitter to make it nice and sparkly. Then we're going to pour the resin into our mold. We want the top of the hair to be orange and bottom to be purple. So we need to make sure we're pouring the resin in the right places. I'm alternating the colors as I pour so that the mixing of the colors is more organic. As you can see here, pouring the resin on the flat mold is much easier than doing it in the large 3D mold. Now 
Now we're going to let it cure for about 10 hours. While we wait, let's go ahead and paint our pony. We're going to start by taking off the cutie mark and the paint on the hooves with some acetone. Then we're going to paint the entire pony a cream color. Next, we'll take dark orange and paint the bottom of each leg, and then with a bit of the cream, we're going to dab and blend the colors so that it looks like there is a gradient going from cream to dark orange down the legs. This takes a bit of patience because it's hard maneuvering the paintbrush around the legs. Once the legs are done, we'll give her dark purple shoes. For the wings, we're going to give it the same treatment as the legs, adding some orange and then blending it with the cream. Next, we'll paint the eyes a light orange color. Alright everyone, so here is the pony so far. I think she looks really beautiful. Just look at her. So right now she has a coat of Mod Podge on to keep her shine and also to help seal the paint. And now let's check on the mane and tail. So it's been about 10 hours and I think we are ready to take these pieces out and hopefully they're still flexible enough. So here is It's still flexible. Okay, so now let's take each of these pieces out. The pieces here are not shiny because the mold is not shiny. So that means we'll have to glaze it again with more resin once we're done. The tail, I'm gonna put the pieces together like this. Bend it into place. Make sure it fits. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Once it's cured, and we're gonna let it sit so it fully cures. And then let's put together the mane. Here I'm attaching the different pieces for the mane. Now we'll let it sit for another 10 hours. And here's the pony so far. Oh my gosh, she is looking so good. So I've gone ahead and filled in the gaps between the hair with some orange colored UV resin. This helps glue the resin to the pony and also covers up the empty spots on the scalp. 
and I'm using UV resin because it cures very fast under a UV lamp. One last thing we need to do is glaze the rest of the resin hair so that it's nice and shiny. Again, I'm going to be using UV resin so that we can cure it right away under the lamp. We're just going to squirt some right here on the hair and then spread it out using silicone tipped brush. Alright everyone, and we are done. Oh my goodness, take a look at her. I am so happy with the way she turned out. She looks so amazing. Just take a look at that shiny hair. And the resin did such a good job doing the orange and purple gradient. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. So let's take a closer look. So her body is cream, but she has orange colored legs and purple shoes on. Her wings are also orange, going from a dark orange to cream colored. And her hair, oh my goodness, I really loved the way it turned out. Just take a look at that. The dark purple going up to the dark orange. It is so nice. And what I love about it is that there is a bit of a sparkle there from the glitter. And it's also kind of translucent. It is so, so shiny. And I love that it's in different pieces so that you can see a little bit of movement here in the hair. And here is the tail. So the tail is nice and big. And actually we have a very long strand here that goes down to the bottom. It looks so nice. Here she is. Oh my goodness. And just to compare, we do have Princess Celestia here. So I made her previously. And again, we made her out of larger pieces of resin. So her hair is kind of a one big piece here, one big piece up here, and her tail is one large slab. In addition, we also have Twilight Sparkle or Princess Twilight Sparkle here. I think this is one of their first uh, ponies that I made with resin. This one didn't come out that great because um, I had a hard time filling in the resin. It was pretty bumpy but from a distance she looks great. I love the way her wings are spread. But it was actually kind of hard to display her because her wings were just so big. And I also have Princess Luna somewhere, but um, I think I put her away, so I don't have her here to display. However, you can go ahead and check out the videos for the other three ponies. And let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think of Princess Celestia's mom, Queen Galaxia? If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making another custom pony. As you can see here, I have Soren, a stallion. With him, we're going to make King Cosmos, Princess Celestia's father. I recently made Princess Celestia's mother, Queen Galaxia, and she turned out fantastic. Just take a look at her. Isn't she beautiful? So today we're going to make her other half, King Cosmos. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is cut off the mane and tail. We're going to trim it as close as possible to the body. Next, we're going to make a mold for the hair. Out of oven baked clay, I molded two pieces for the mane. One for the front and one for the back. Taking a small cube, we're going to cut out the hole for the horn. And here is the tail. I've made it with three pieces of clay. Now for the wings. I think the original wings for Soren is too small, so we're going to make our own. Taking some flattened clay, we're going to cut out a set of large wings. Here, we're making the edges nice and smooth. Next, we have a small triangular piece for his breastplate. This will be placed flush against the wings so that the ends of the wings don't look too weird sticking out. Back to the wings. I think it looks a little bit too flat, so let's add a second piece on top of it. Now, we're going to make the mold. I'm taking each piece of our clay pieces 
and placing them face down in the container. We're going to straighten each piece out and lightly press it down so that it doesn't float away. To make the mold, we're going to be using composing mold. This is a reusable type of mold. In fact, I've been using it for all my mold making projects for the past five years. Here, we're just pouring the melted composing mold over the clay. We're going to wait a few hours for it to set. It's been a few hours and our mold has set. Let's go ahead and take out the clay pieces. I did not bake the clay, so these clay pieces are reusable for another project. Now, let's make some two-part epoxy resin. First, we're going to make the wings. To color it, I'm using acrylic paint that I've already mixed. This is the same color that we will use for the body. We're going to pour about two-thirds of the wing. Then, taking the remainder, we're going to add a bit more clear resin and add some glitter to it. Taking this new mixture, we're going to fill up the rest of the mold. Next, instead of tossing the resin, we're going to take the leftovers and add some black ink. Here, we're filling the breastplate. Now, we'll do the mane and tail. Taking the rest of the resin, we're going to make three colors, purple, magenta with glitter, and dark blue. Alternating the colors, we're going to fill in the mold. Since this mold is nice and flat, we can easily pour the resin in and avoid large bubbles. Now we're going to wait 10 hours for it to set. While we wait, let's go ahead and paint the body. Taking the mix of dark blue acrylic paint, we're going to paint the pony from head to toe. For the eyes, we'll color them purple. Now taking the same two glitters that we used for the wings, we're going to make a paste of it using Mod Podge. This will paint on the hooves. Taking a bit more of the glitter, we're going to spread it thinly up the legs. Alright, it's been 10 hours. So let's go ahead and take a look. I am so curious as to how it turned out. Here's the wing. Oh my goodness, this looks good. And let's take out the mane. And finally we have the tail. Here's the big piece and here's a smaller piece. All right, so here is my pony so far. I think he is looking really good. So I love the few spots here uh, unpainted or with just very little paint because we are going to be putting the resin pieces here. And, um, and if I try to glue it down with all that paint, it's just going to rip off. So what we're going to do now is attach the mane and the wings and the tail. Let's go ahead and put the tail together. As you can see, the pieces are all straight. So now we have to bend it. To make the shape, we're going to bend it to the form that we want and then wrap it in plastic wrap. This way, the shape will hold until the resin fully cures. Now let's attach the wings. They're going to go along the sides of the body like this and we'll secure it with more plastic wrap. For the main, we have two pieces. We're going to attach them using super glue. Now 
then using more plastic wrap, we're going to wrap it around the head to secure it. I think the wings are a little bit too close to the body, so we want to flap it out a little bit. We're going to take the pony and place it down on the table like this and spread out the wings. Then we'll secure the pony down using some tape. Now we'll give it a few more hours for it to fully cure. Hopefully the wings will stay that way after it's done curing. Alright guys, I have bad news. I checked on the tail and it seems like we were too late. The resin had cured too much and the tail broke while it was curing. So I've gone ahead and made a new tail using more clay. This time I'm testing out only keeping the top half of the clay flat. And then we're going to submerge the rest of the tail in the composing mold so that we can keep the curves in the tail. Now we're going to pour the same three colors into the mold. However, we need to be more careful and watch for large bubbles. Pouring a little bit at a time, we can make sure the entire tail section is filled up and doesn't have any bubbles. Alright everyone, so it's been another 10 hours and our round 2 or take 2 of the tail is ready to come out of the mold. Let's go ahead and see how it looks. So fingers crossed. Okay, I think I'm getting better at making these. Okay, so, so here's one side. Here's the other side. looking really good and here's a large piece so fingers crossed this one comes out good okay there it is oh this is looking really good so we have some cleanup to do and we can put it together okay let's take the three pieces and put them together Alright, so it's been quite a few hours and we've let the wings set, so let's take a look and see what we have. How the wings are doing. Oh no. Let's take, let's unwrap it and take a look at the rest. So overall, I think it turned out okay. We can easily glue this piece back together with some super glue. Now let's attach the horn. Here on the side of the mane, you can see a bit of a gap between the resin and the pony. So taking some UV resin in purple, we're going to fill in the space and cure it with an UV light. Next, let's add the breastplate. I didn't like the resin piece that we made, so I remade it using oven baked clay. Using a heat gun, we can use it to cure and bake the clay. Now for the final step. I think this is the best part. Let's add some shine and gloss. Using clear UV resin, we're going to coat the mane and spread it out evenly and cure it under the UV light. We're going to do the same for both pieces of the mane. And also the wings here. And of course the tail. Alright everyone, and we are done with King Cosmos. Oh my goodness, look at him! Doesn't he look amazing? I love how shiny his mane and tail are. So here is a closer look at our pony. Here is the front, as you can see. He has his little breastplate here with a purple diamond. He has his mane flying off to the side. And here he is on the side. So he has kind of a mohawk going here in a series of colors. You can see the purple, a bit of the magenta down there, and some glitter embedded. Over here is his super shiny wing. So his wing is two-toned. Up here on the top is much darker blue, and down here is kind of a glittery, translucent, silverish blue. Here in the back is the brand new tail. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. It is super shiny. And here's the other side of the pony. 
So it was too bad that this piece of tail broke. I think it had cured a little bit too much when we were uh, trying to kind of mold it again. And then as it hardened more, it just couldn't take the pressure and broke. So um, we would just have to dispose of this piece. However, I really do like this new tail. I think I have um, gotten better at making the tails and now it's a lot more 3D down here on the bottom and on the top it's flat. So I think this new tail is actually better. And of course, we need to bring in his wife, Queen Galaxia. Oh my goodness, look at the pair. <laughs> It's just a little bit too bad that the uh, Soren pony here is much smaller. It's uh, a little bit too short. I think if he was just a smidge bigger or taller, he would look a lot better. But I think the pair make a pretty good match. So I did uh, move the hair, his, uh, his mane, onto his left side so that they can look at each other this way. All right, everyone, so this was a lot of fun. It took a lot of work, but I think the results look great. So let me know down below in the comment section, which pony do you like better? Do you like the king or do you like the queen? And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. and welcome to Evie's Toy House. If you've been to my channel recently, you'll know that I made two really special customs. So I made Princess Celestia and Princess Luna's parents. So this is Queen Galaxia and over here we have King Cosmos. They are the parents to Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. So I thought to complete the set, our next customs should be Little Celestia and Little Luna. So today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make Little Celestia. And to make her, I'm going to use Sweetie Belle. Take a look at her. Isn't she adorable? So Sweetie Belle here is a unicorn. So what we're going to have to do is give her some wings and then give her some hair. And for these two customs, I made their hair out of resin. So some epoxy resin. It was a lot of fun to make and they turned out fantastic. Just take a look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that gradient. So we're going to do the same with Celestia. We are going to remake her hair using some epoxy resin. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and take off her little skirt. And let's cut off her mane. her tail too. There we go. Oh my goodness. So I've gone ahead and made the pieces for the mane and tail. So here is the tail. It's really cute. It goes on to the back like this. And then we have the mane. So here is the mane that I made out of clay. And it's in three different pieces. So we have the front piece, the side piece, and the back piece. And so when everything's put together, she will look super cute like this. So now we're gonna take these pieces off. And then we're gonna lay the various pieces into a plastic container. And to make the mold, we're gonna be using this reusable mold making material called Composing Mold. This one is reusable and all you have to do is microwave it for about a minute to get it nice and melted. Here we are just going to pour it straight in until the clay is completely covered. I'll do the same here. Now I'm going to wait about 30 minutes for the mold to set. So these are done. Let's go ahead and pull them out of my little container here. It's really helpful to have this little stick. It makes it kind of like a handle. flat. And this is all completely reusable. So now we need to take out the clay piece so that we can fill it up with resin. So I am just going to make 
cut here just enough to loosen the clay and pop it out okay so here is our main the side piece and now we have the tail and the other pieces of the mane. These smaller pieces actually harden from the heat of the composing mold, so now they're hard and cured. So here are the pieces. As you can see, they look really good. Now let's go ahead and pour some resin. Now let's go ahead and mix a new batch of resin. When Princess Celestia was a filly, her hair is actually pink. So we are going to color this resin pink. And let's also add a little bit of glitter. We're going to pour the resin in slowly to avoid any bubbles. Now we're going to wait about 8 hours for it to cure. Next, with some acetone, we're going to take off Sweetie Belle's outfit. So here's our blank pony and we're going to go ahead and take off the eyes too and redo that. Because Princess Celestia's eyes are shaped differently. Okay. It's okay to leave a little bit of an outline to help guide the new eyes. Now let's work on the eyes. This time, instead of using acrylic paint, I'm just going to use a Sharpie. So we're going to draw the outline of the eyes, add some eyelashes. Color in the irises. For the wing, I am going to use this cute little mold here. So this one here has a set of wings that's really cute. So we're going to use UV resin to make this. Okay, let's take these wings out. Oh, they're so cute. Put it against the body like this. Oh, this is really cute. Now I'm going to use the UV resin and attach the wings to the pony. Now we're going to paint the pony. So I'm going to be using a mixture of vanilla and paralyzing paint. Here we're painting the entire pony. We're also going to paint the wings so that it's one uniform color. Over here on the flank, we're going to add her cutie mark. Alright, so it's been about 9 hours and I think we are ready to take this out. So let's go ahead and take out the main pieces. So at this point, they're solid enough to touch and take out, but also still soft enough that we can still bend it. So as you can see, this is mostly cured, but at the same time, it's still soft and flexible. Here is the tail. 
So here are the various pieces and we can easily clean it up using an X-Acto knife. Using super glue, we're going to glue the three pieces of the mane onto Celestia's head. And then to make sure the resin is held in place, I'm going to put some plastic wrap around the hair and we're going to let the resin finish curing. Let's go ahead and take off the plastic wrap and see what the pony looks like so far. Oh, she is looking so good. So the last step we're going to do is glaze the tail and mane with more UV resin. This will make it super shiny. So I've colored the resin so that it's pink and we're going to first fill out the little gaps here between the hair pieces and we're going to cure that. After that, we're going to coat the rest of the mane with a thin layer. Alright everyone, and we are done! Oh my goodness, look at this! This is little Princess Celestia. What do you think? Isn't the hair shiny? Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So she has light pink hair, purple eyes, really beautiful little wings. I love how the wings turned out. And of course, a super shiny tail. So. All right, so here she is with her mom and dad. Oh my goodness, this is too cute. All right, everyone, so this was a lot of fun. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you'll know when Little Princess Luna comes out. All right, see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're going to be making another custom. So I recently made baby Celestia. Here is little Celestia as a filly and you guys loved it. Thank you so much. I was so surprised. I wasn't sure if you would like her because I don't make a lot of little ponies. And many of you requested that I make Princess Luna also as a filly. So that's what we're going to do today. I have Skururu. <laughs> She is so cute and we are going to transform her into Princess Luna as a filly and I think she's gonna look so cute. Oh my goodness. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove her skirt and of course we need to cut off her mane. So some of you asked where I got these fillies from. They are part of the school friendship packs. They are kind of hard to find right now, so if you look on Amazon or maybe on eBay, you might still be able to find them. And here goes her tail. Next, using some oven baked clay, I've modeled her mane and tail. So this piece is going to be the tail, and then we have the mane in three different pieces. So we have the back piece with some hair coming down one shoulder. We have the top piece and we also have the side piece. And from all the pictures I've seen online of little Luna, she has short cropped hair. So that's what I did here, give her short hair on the side. On the top here, we're going to make some space for her horn. In the little hole I made, we'll add a tiny clay horn. Just like that. It's so cute. Now let's separate out the different pieces of clay so we can make a mold of it. I'm going to lay each piece down in a little container. To make the mold, I'm going to be using composing mold. This is very useful because it is reusable. All we have to do is melt it in a microwave. We're just taking the melted composing mold and pour it over our clay pieces, making sure to completely cover it. Then we're going to give it about half an hour for it to cure. While we wait, let's go ahead and remove Skidoo's painted outfit and eyes. Nice. 
Then with a sharpie, we're going to redraw Princess Luna's eyes. After outlining it, we'll color her eyes green. Okay, these two are done. Let's go ahead and take it out of the mold. Now we need to cut out the clay pieces. The nice thing about using a reusable mold like composite mold is that you don't have to worry about destroying the mold. To make a new one, we can just remelt it. Now let's pour some two-part resin. With this resin, we're going to add a little bit of glitter and some blue alcohol ink and acrylic ink to make it a blue color. I want her hair to be transparent, so we're not going to add too much color. This resin will take about 6 hours to partially cure. In the meantime, let's paint the pony. I'm painting her a bluish purple. With white paint, we're going to pinch her eyes and add some dots. And then, we're going to add her cutie mark. It's been 6 hours and the resin is partially cured. Let's go ahead and take it out of the mold so that we can set it on the pony to finish curing. We're going to put all the different pieces on Luna and glue it down with super glue. Then we'll wrap her up in plastic wrap to help form the shape we want on the resin. Now we'll wait another 6 hours for the resin to finish curing. It's been about six hours and our resin is ready. So let's go ahead and unwrap the plastic off. Oh my goodness, Luna looks adorable. Look at this. So the next thing we need to do is fill in the little gaps here and also make it nice and shiny. And to do that, we're going to be using some UV resin. This one cures in just a few minutes under UV light. We're going to coat her hair with a thin layer of this UV resin. Then we'll put it under the light to cure. Alright everyone, and we are done! We have little Princess Luna! Oh my goodness, isn't she adorable? Just take a look at her! So she is so tiny, and she has really, really shiny hair. Just look at that. I love the way the hair turned out. So as you can see here, her hair is a little bit translucent. You can see her eyes right through it, and it's also a little bit glittery. There's a little bit of a sparkle inside her hair. I think that was a really nice touch just to add that little bit of sparkle. 
and I think overall she just looks so cute. I really love that her mouth is open so she is smiling and happy. And so let's go ahead and bring her sister in. So here are the sisters. We have Princess Celestia and we have Princess Luna. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. I love this pair. And of course, we need to bring in their parents, Queen Galaxia and King Cosmos. Oh my goodness, now we have the entire family. Look at this. So cute. Oh my gosh. So what do you guys think? Which figure is your favorite? Do you like the little fillies or do you like the grown-ups? Let me know down below in the comment section. And if you have not checked out the videos for the other three customs, make sure to do that right now. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!